Good luck. Yo, what's happening guys? It's your boy Nick Che. Today I have a special guest with me on the channel. This is Richard. He's a junior at UCLA. What's going Today on? we're going to be doing a video talking about how to stay fit, how to stay active, and how to just get more exercise while you are in college. So Richard, tell us a little bit about yourself. Yeah, yeah, great to be here. So my name is Richard. I study biology and entrepreneurship at UCLA and I'm currently a junior. And one of my biggest passions is helping others become healthier, whether that's through working out, sleeping better, or being more productive. All right, so first off, obviously, it's going to be fitness, whether it's doing exercise, going for a run, going to the gym. All you need to do is be active and about for you know 30 minutes to an hour. So you can take the hour that you have and just be a little bit more productive. So for me, you guys know I'm a big fan of going to the gym. I just think that hitting some weights, going for a quick run is just a great way to get some workouts in. This past year, I wasn't very effective with my workout routine. I would go for four to five days a week, you know, do a half-ass workout and not really get the most out of it with by the time that I was investing in. But Richard's really well knowledge in his workout routine, so why don't you share that with us? I'm a huge believer in getting very condensed, high quality workouts in that give you the best bang for the buck. And so I actually only train three times a week for about an hour and a half to two hours of workout. And what that allows me to do is I don't have to go to the gym every single day or four or five times a week in which I'm wasting that time walking over to the gym, walking back, I have to shower and it takes a bunch of time. So big tip for me um, to you guys would definitely be to possibly lower the frequency of the number of times you train and get more done within those workouts. For the workouts that I train, I uh, try to incorporate as many compound movements as possible. So compound movements are exercises that allow you to move multiple muscle groups at one time. So a bicep curl would just be training your bicep. That's uh, isolation movement, while a compound movement would be something like the bench press, where it works your chest, your abs, your triceps, and your shoulders. You wanna focus on compound movements because these will definitely give you more bang for the buck. And for me, I focus on three compound lifts within my workout routine, which is squats, deadlift and bench press. And because I'm able to push really hard on these exercises and increase my weight on those, I'm able to build muscle much more effectively, quickly, and save time when I'm in the gym. For sure. Dude, that's super helpful because I feel like every time I go to the gym, uh, like you said, like the process of going out, getting ready, showering afterwards, it just takes up a lot more time, especially when you have a busy college schedule. You just need to be, you just gotta be more cognizant about how you're spending the time and just be more Absolutely. aware of that. So number two, we're moving on to how you eat in college. Now there's a big stigma obviously of the freshman 15. Now personally, I don't think that the freshman 15 is a negative connotation because for me, I think I was, as soon as I got here, I was trying to put on a lot more weight and muscle right. so that I could bulk up. So for me, hitting that freshman 15 was kind of like a good sign rather Absolutely. than the negative freshman 15. But in order to avoid that, you need to be eating smart, you need to be eating healthy. I know that dining halls have a lot of variety and options, but that doesn't mean you shouldn't go for the healthier options, whether it's avoiding the pizza every now and then, avoiding dessert, um, so why don't you tell us a little bit more about that? Yeah, absolutely. So definitely be being more aware of the foods that you eat. So I think a lot of times because we get so busy, we kind of just grab whatever is convenient at the dining halls. And oftentimes what's convenient is pizza. It's the late night ramen. Simply being more aware of what foods we eat is really, really important. And the second thing I'd say here is to just really make it simple. You want very clean carbs, a clean source of protein, and then you want your micronutrients through either vegetables and or fruits. I'm a big smoothie guy, so after my workouts, I'll try and make a smoothie, just throwing in some ice, frozen fruits, yep. milk, protein powder. That's just a really, you know, get your calories up and just a very efficient way to get a quick snack on the go. Right. I will add on this quick thing of, guys, alcohol is going to add a lot of calories that will negatively impact your freshman 15. <laughs> just be cognizant of what you are consuming, putting into your body, because honestly, your body is a temple. You need to be protecting it. You need to be keeping it healthy and well fed. When you get to college, I know that it's easy to get carried away with all this freedom that you have, but you need to have that self-discipline and awareness of, no, I shouldn't be drinking my fifth beer of the day when I haven't eaten properly or going for the salad instead of going for right. whatever else you're going to get. And the one thing I'll add here as well is definitely when we're young, the effects of eating unhealthy food is not really gonna show until you're much later in life, long until 30, 40, 50 years old. Um, and so it's really, really important to be aware right now. Okay, so third and finally, the most important pillar of your college health and wellness is going to be how you rest. Those eight to 10 hours of sleep that you should be getting every single night, how you are relaxing in your downtime when you don't have work to be doing. That's all very critical and important aspects of your health and overall well-being, not just for your physical health, but also for your mental and self-aware health right. as well. I'm a big believer of just taking time for yourself to you know, watch Netflix if you need to, go for a walk, listen to music. What tips do you have for just getting more rest? Yeah, absolutely. So with rest, I think the most important thing here is finding the amount of sleep that works for you. Everyone's different. I know some people that can get six hours of sleep a night and they can do 
do that seven days a week and they feel so super good. And other people, they need at least nine, 10 hours of sleep. And if they get anything less than that, they don't feel so good. And they have to back that up with caffeine, which gets really unhealthy. Waking up consistently at the same time and going to bed consistently at the same time is really gonna allow your circadian rhythms to be balanced. And that's gonna allow you to have more energy for, energy for the day. Dude, a problem that I have is like, I'll be in bed I'll try and go to bed by 11 p.m. and then I just stay awake at like until mm. for another hour or so. The one thing that I'd say for there is you also have to figure out how are your energy levels throughout the day. So a lot of people, because their sleep schedule is so out of whack, they might take a lot of caffeine, energy drinks, Monster, Red Bull, and that's gonna prevent you from going to sleep the next day. Also, if you're not exercising, typically your energy levels are gonna be pretty high. Personally for me, on the days that I work out, I'm really, really tired oh, yeah. by the time yeah. I'm, it's 10 p.m. or 11 p.m. Yeah. So I knock out just like that. So. I think it has to do with the amount of caffeine, stimulants, and other things that you're consuming, as well as how much exercise you're getting. You know, like we've been saying, when it comes to health and fitness, guys, in college, it is going to be a little bit more on yourself to be more proactive and aware of how you're working out, how you're treating your body, because it's just a lot more independence and freedom, because as a great Uncle Ben said, with great power comes great responsibility. Hey. So Richard also has a YouTube channel. He does videos on entrepreneurship, health, and fitness. Um, where can they find you? Yeah, if you just go on YouTube and search up Richard Yu, my last name's Y-U, UCLA, well, it'll definitely come up. Make sure to leave a like if you guys enjoyed this video. Drop down any suggestions you guys want to see. And as always, don't stress, finesse.